welcome to another episode of the Godless Antitheist presenting the Godless Truth. The great thing about truth is you don't have to have faith or blind faith in the truth. The truth is the truth whether you believe it or I believe it. It's the truth. No blind faith required. The superstitious Christians war on the winter solstice. Long before Christianity came along, 2,012 years ago, our ancestors were building monuments and places to celebrate the winter solstice. They celebrated the winter solstice on December the 21st. Now the Christians tried to get the people, our ancestors, to stop practicing the winter solstice, but they couldn't do it. So they co-opted December the 21st and tried to replace it with December the 25th, the day they claimed their imaginary Jesus was born. The imaginary Jesus, the son of their imaginary God. But the real reason for the season in December is December the 21st. When we celebrate the winter solstice. Now what is the winter solstice that they're the superstitious Christians are warring against. Why? It's a time of year. That's all it is. It's a time of year. You see, December the 21st is the shortest day of the year and the longest night of the year. Now why were our ancestors celebrating December the 21st the winter solstice. Well, you see, our ancestors, yours and mine, they didn't know whether they were going to make it through the winter or not. For our ancestors, the winter was starvation time. Our ancestors lost many loved ones, many friends, relatives, neighbors, co-workers during this winter time. And what gave them a reason to celebrate was a, a certain time of year. You know, like Christians are waging a war, have been for 2,012 years, on the winter solstice, a time of year. It's like if the Christians waged a war on one o'clock or two o'clock or some time on the clock. As a matter of fact, the winter solstice is a time, a time of year. It's a season. And our ancestors, yours and mine, celebrated this December the 21st because it was the shortest day of the year and the longest night. But the reason they were celebrating was after December the 21st, the days would start getting slowly longer and the nights would start getting slowly shorter. And that meant they were coming into a season when things in the wild would start blooming and turning green and that their a time when they could start planting crops. They could start planting their crops. This was good news. But they still had to get through the winter. So they took a moment to celebrate the fact that 
this sign of the time of the year, the winter solstice, showed them that things would get better. And that gave them a reason to struggle through. If we can just make it through the winter. The winter solstice is showing us that the days will get longer and the nights will get shorter and the sun will shine again and we will be able to go out into the wild. There will be abundance of fruits and vegetables in the wild and, of course, what they were, would grow themselves. And the animals would return. The buffalo would return. The roaming animals would appear again when the grass started turning green. I'll have more about that in another episode. So you see, this is not a time of year of worshiping fantasy or myth or make-believe. This is a serious time of year. And the superstitious Christians want you to call the evergreen tree that you bring in from outside, you cut the tree down, you bring it inside, you decorate it. They want you to call that a Christmas tree. Once again, our ancestors were cutting down the evergreen tree or any other tree that was green during the winter. They would cut it down, they would bring it in the house, and they would decorate it long before Christianity was even in thought of and made up by Christians. For tens of thousands of years, we have been celebrating the winter solstice. For tens of thousands of years, we have been bringing in the evergreen tree or a another species of green tree and decorating it long before Christianity was even thought of. Christianity is only 2,012 years old. We've been celebrating the winter solstice for tens of thousands of years. Us and our ancestors. Stonehenge was likely a celebration of the winter solstice. There's other artifacts and other places around the world where things were built to follow the sun and to know when the, sol the winter solstice was so they could know the date because then as they learned about the true nature of nature. They learned that after December the 21st, the, the days would get longer and the nights would get shorter. And they then came up with a calendar and they knew by this calendar that December, January, February, March, April, May, June, you know, they, they knew the months. And they knew what months would get warmer in the northern hemisphere. Right now, I know that uh, the American USA superstitious Christian thinks it's winter everywhere. But it's not in Australia, they're celebrating December. They love December because in Australia, it's summertime. Our winter is their summer. Their summer is our winter. Likewise, when it's our winter or our summer, it's their winter. So while we're celebrating our summer finally arriving, they're going into bitter colds. They're going into winter. That's the way it works. That's reality. 
and we celebrate in December the winter solstice. It has nothing to do with superstition. It has nothing to do with superstitious Christianity. Christianity has placed their bullshit in December to distract you from the real reason of the season, the winter solstice. And I hope that the joy and the message of the winter solstice is celebrated in your home because you and my ancestors celebrated it and it was a very important date for them. You see, they didn't have grocery stores. And they didn't have a grocery store that stayed open 24-7 that carried strawberries in wintertime. The winter was a very hard struggle to get through. And many of our ancestors died during the winter. The strongest survived. And that's another video, The Strongest Survived. So remember our traditions, not traditions that's merely 2,000 years old, but the traditions that we have been celebrating since man began thinking and celebrating such things. The winter solstice is tens of thousands of years old. And the fact that you're changing what this time of year really means, the real reason for the, this time of year, is disrespectful and ridiculous. That you've taken what our ancestors reasonably celebrated a time of year and replaced it with a superstitious bullshit of Christianity is insulting and downright dishonest. And those of us who care about the truth care about the fact that December the 21st is the reason for the season, the winter solstice. Be careful out there. It's a crazy, superstitious world, especially in the United States of America.